This is the video you guys have been asking for, so let's get to it. I'm gonna show you how to seal a concrete countertop. Let's make something cool. So one of the most common questions I've been getting lately is, how do you seal a concrete countertop and what do you seal a concrete countertop with? Well, that's a very good question, but it's also a very loaded question. It depends on what kind of look you're going for. Do you want it shiny? Do you want a low luster? Do you want a very deep finish? Do you want to not be able to tell there's a finish there at all? Do you want it to enrich and enhance the countertop or do you want to make sure that countertop stays the very same color? There are so many different products out there that will do all these different things and each product will require a different method of applying it or different preparation and that is why I didn't put it in my first two videos because it needs a video all on its own but we're gonna go over all these things today in this video. So let's dive into this thing. I'm getting too old to be jumping down off of benches. I should have put a bucket here or something. <laughs> Hashtag old guy noises. Oh, and before I forget, make sure to stay tuned till the end of the video because I want to share something really cool with you guys. By the way, I think it's important to point out this video is not sponsored in any way, shape, or form. I paid for these products with my own money, so therefore you're going to get my honest and truthful opinion on all of them. In fact, so far, this channel or my videos haven't been sponsored. This channel has been self-funded so far. Like I said before, there are all sorts of different options you can go with with sealing a concrete countertop, but I'm going to show you my five favorite options. Everything from a special order option all the way to four other options that you can get straight off the shelf at your local Home Depot. Option number one is a concrete countertop sealer made by Chang. I had to special order this off of Amazon for around $30. It's a water-based clear coat with a satin finish, and it's also food grade. This will enhance the concrete countertop, but only by very little. And I'll leave a link for all these products in the description down below. Option number two is the Wet Look Sealer made by Bear. This is not a food grade product, but it is water-based and it dries very quick. This will not change the color of your concrete countertop or enhance it, but it will leave a nice glossy finish. They also carry this in a low luster. Option number three is a granite and stone sealer made by Stone Care. This is also a water-based option that is food grade. My favorite thing about this one is that you're not even going to be able to tell that there is a sealer present. It will not enhance it and it will not change the color, but it will seal it very well. Option number four is Sealer's Choice Gold made by Custom. This is actually a tile grout sealer, so it's not food grade, but it provides a phenomenal seal. This also will not change the appearance of your concrete countertop or enhance it. And just like option number three, you will not be able to tell that that seal is there unless you spill something on it. And just like me, this has a very, very strong odor, so make sure you're in a well-ventilated area while applying this. I said strong odor, not bad odor. Option number five is glaze coat made by Famo Wood. It is a two-part epoxy that provides a deep, food safe, high gloss finish, typically the kind that you would see on a bar top. It is an epoxy, so it has a very strong odor. So make sure to apply this in a well ventilated area as well. So let's get started with option number one. This product requires that you wet the surface down before you apply it but don't leave puddles. With the first application, we're going to cut the product in half with water and work the mixture into the surface with a clean rag.
For the second application, we're going to strengthen the mixture closer to two parts product to one parts water and work the product into the surface again. For the last application, do not cut it with water. We're going to use full strength sealer on this one. With the bare wet look sealer, do not thin or cut this product. Apply a thin coat using a spray bottle or a pump sprayer for large projects. You can roll this product as well, but if you spray it, make sure to back roll it or back brush it for a uniform thickness. You can apply a second coat when it's dry to the touch. I like to give it a light sanding with a 220 grit sandpaper to knock down all the boogers in between the second and third coat. Reapply your third coat and you're done. The Stone Care Sealer requires that the surface be dry for 6 to 12 hours before sealing. Just simply spray the surface down until evenly wet then allow the surface to dry for three to five minutes. Wipe off any excess sealer, then wet the surface again and allow the sealer to penetrate for about 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, wipe off any excess sealer, then you are done. The sealer's choice also requires the surface to be dry. Simply pour the sealer onto the surface and work it in with a cotton towel. You can also apply this product with a sponge, brush, paint pad, or sprayer. Be sure to remove any puddles within 5 minutes using a towel and allow 30 minutes in between coats. 2-4 to four hours later, you are ready for service. For the two-part epoxy, pick the appropriate size plastic trowel for your size project. I got these containers at the dollar store. Label them part A and part B. Dispense equal parts resin into container A and equal parts hardener into container B. Dispense parts A and B into a separate container and mix for about six minutes. Pour the mixture immediately onto the center of the surface. You have about 15 to 20 minutes working time, so work fast. Spread the glaze evenly over the surface at about an eighth inch layer, but don't overwork it. While the product levels itself out, any bubbles you may have should work themselves out. However, you may have to help the stubborn bubbles along with a handheld propane torch. <laughs> Fire! Hold the torch 6 to 8 inches above the surface using a slow sweeping motion. Do not hold the flame in one area. After about a half hour, I like to knock off any drips that I might have before the epoxy hardens. So, how do you know if you've got a good seal? Either pour water on it or spray it down with water, and if the water beads up, then you know you've got a good seal. If you spray it down with water and you get dark spots, then you know you gotta do it again. You 
You see what I did there? Come on, bring it in for the real thing, man. Come on, brother's hug. So which one's the best sealer? You tell me. Guys, thank you so much for sticking around until the end. This is the moment I have been waiting for ever since I started this channel. Getting to see your work that's been inspired by our videos. So I was just about to board a plane to LA and before I threw my phone into airplane mode, I got an Instagram message from a guy named The Real Josh Brown. Not to be confused with the fake Josh Brown. We officially had our first Michael Build submission. This guy's a freaking rock star. This guy actually did several different slabs for a couple different kitchens. My favorite part is this V-shaped detail in the sink knockout. It's a subtle detail, but it's those subtle details that can make a huge impact. By the way, Love those socks, bro. Josh Brown from Brown Deer, Wisconsin. Good job, man. So I get off the plane after arriving in LA, and I got another Instagram message waiting for me. Um, ZCheck102. <laughs> I'm so sorry if I'm butchering your names, guys. I'm so sorry. I love how creative this guy got with this one. Not only did he notch out for the 4x4 legs, but he also notched out for the concrete leg he made. Nicely done, sir. The next one is from James Brown from Cato, New York. James went for a contemporary look on this one, and the best part is that he took common pine 2x4s and 4x4s and made them look like exotic wood. I freaking love that. Beautiful job, bro. The next fellow we have is Louie. He calls his piece the Concrete Slabby Patty. Check out the detail on this lobster design. That is crazy. Nice pale ale, by the way, sir. These two handsome gentlemen, Kurt and Hunter Baird, father and son team from Hornsby, Tennessee. The first thing I noticed was how awesome this center design came out, and I love the finish. But then, wait for it, they added glow-in-the-dark powder to the sealer. It's freaking genius. Nice job, guys. Doug Hang from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania got crazy with the stain. This piece actually looks like wood, and this piece actually looks like stone. You got skills, bro. DJ from DJC Photography made an eight foot long tabletop. That's impressive. I'm assuming you're from Michigan because of the Michigan logo. Represent. Last but absolutely not least, Jonah Rector. This guy colored his mix and made shower base caps for this absolutely gorgeous stand up shower. That was very creative and way to think outside the box, man. Thank you so much to all the guys that gave me permission to share these projects with the community. I am so proud of you guys. I'm so proud of us. 73,000 subs, guys. Mm. You guys are killing it. I'm putting links to all these guys in the description down below, so please make sure to give these guys some love. They deserve it. And thank you guys so much for watching my video. Please hit that like button if you guys like this video. And if you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. I promise you won't regret it. And I'll see you guys in the next video.